Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to yet another World Tour video. You're joining me here once again in my creative world number three. So here's the deal, guys. Ever since I first created this world and started developing it, I've been doing little mini world tours every couple of weeks or so, just showing you guys what I've been up to in those particular weeks. And last week, we finally got to the final tour. Tour number 8. Just in case you guys want to see any of those tours by the way, or any other kind of world tour, I will leave in the card system and the links below in the description, I will leave links to my world tours playlist, so if you want to see any of those, feel free to check those out. However, I now want to do a full concise tour of creative world number 3. I'm going to try and keep it as small as possible, as short as possible, I'm going to try and be nice and concise, and the reason is I, I want you guys to see how this world has developed, and I don't want you to have to go through hours and hours of footage with the mini tours, so the only thing that I'm going to let you guys know is what it is, whether or not it has a tutorial, and whether or not it's going to get a tutorial. So we're on the southwest end of the world. This is the first thing. This is what I entitled Terraria Steve. You can find a tutorial for this guy on the channel if you so desire. He's Terraria's kind of like default main character. Next up, we have the Minecraft logo, which you guys will be able to find a tutorial for on the channel, no problem. Very nice logo. Here we have one of my brick houses, I have no idea which number it is, but if you check the brick house tutorial playlist, you will be able to find it no problem if this house tickles your fancy. Here we have a collection of Spongebob statues, here we have Sandy, no tutorial. Here we have Mr. Krabs, no tutorial. Here we have a really disturbing terrible looking Squidward. No tutorial. Here we have Patrick. We do have a tutorial for this on the channel. And here we have a very creepy Spongebob statue, which we also have a tutorial for on the channel. A lot of you guys were creeped out by him. Here we have a wooden house. Again, I don't know the number of the wooden house. I number all of my wooden houses and all of my houses, as a matter of fact, or at least most of them. Uh, a tutorial does exist for this, if you particularly like it. I added some garden to it and it looks very nice. Feel free to check out the wooden house tutorial playlist if you'd want to make it. Here we have a snow golem statue, which a tutorial exists for. Uh, by the way, it's not as hard to make as you might imagine. It's actually very, very simple to make, despite the fact it is quite giant. Tutorial exists on the channel. Feel free to check out the mobs playlist. Here we have a pretty simple zombie bigman, which a tutorial doesn't exist for. Reason I haven't done it yet, guys, by the way, is because the statue for the zombie pigman will include a gold sword in the right hand being held up all threateningly and such. So no tutorial for this guy. Just yet, there will be though. Here we have a zombie villager statue. Tutorial exists for this on the channel. Check the mob playlist. Here we have the three original starting Pokemon. We have Bulbasaur. A tutorial exists for him. Very nice. We also have Charmander. A tutorial exists for him. Again, very nice looking. And here we have Squirtle. Still nice, but not as nice as the previous two, in my opinion. Still, tutorial exists for him on the channel. Moving on to the next row, guys. And these first couple of rows are kind of broken up a little bit. I kind of, I kind of have like a mini row in between these first two rows. So here we have just kind of like the G of Google. This is kind of like the Google Plus logo, except it's in blue and it doesn't include the plus. No tutorial for this or what have you. It's just kind of here. I thought I'd explain it. Um, here we have a Syndicate statue, which a tutorial does exist for. After my very long break of making YouTubers, he is the first YouTuber that I made after a while. Feel free to check out the YouTuber playlist if you want to make him. And I don't think there is anything else in this row. The first couple of rows are kind of dodgy. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the last... 
Yeah, this is like the first thing on the second row, the proper second row. So, this is the Reddit logo. A tutorial exists on the channel if you're into Reddit, if you're into logos. Big, nice, green, green alien. What am I talking about? Big, nice, white alien. Am I colorblind? Um... Okay, so here we have the 8-bit version of the Reddit logo. A tutorial doesn't exist for this, nor will it ever. Next to the Reddit logo, the 8-bit version, we have an Ewok statue, which a tutorial does exist for. Nice little cute Ewok statue. I love this guy. And I don't know why he's backwards, by the way. I, I forgot to mention that. I kind of just swung around and looked at him and just, you know, just completely ignored it. But he's facing the wrong way, and I'm not entirely sure why. Um, here we have a popular MMO statue. Very, very nice looking skin statue. You guys can find a tutorial for this on the channel if you so desire. Um, here we have a couple of uh, Fire Nation emblems from the anime Avatar Legend of Aang, Legend of Korra. Um, this is kind of like a mini version, that's the much larger, simpler version. Um, tutorials don't exist for these, but they might actually in the future, if I ever get around to it. I do love Avatar. <clears throat> Here we have a big giant horse statue, which you guys can very easily find a tutorial for. You can find this in the mob playlist. Here we have, sticking with the Avatar theme, this is a Legend of Korra statue. This is Korra herself. Um, you can find this on the channel, a tutorial exists for her. Moving on to the next row, we'll start from the right hand side this time. We'll kind of like right to left to left to right to right to left. So here we kind of have like the bare bones of the house that you may have actually seen on the first row, if you guys can recognize this. I kind of like made this row first before any other row, and I kind of like had an idea for what I wanted for a house, and these are just kind of like the skeletal workings of it. It's just the framework. Um, I just thought I'd mention what that was. Um, here we have another brick house, which is the wrong way around. I don't know why I build things in random directions, so you can actually find a tutorial for this particular house on the channel if you guys so desire. Just check out the brick house playlist. I don't know what number it is. Looks a lot better with a garden, by the way. Here we have, again, just kind of like the Kind of like the plain idea for a house, and I never kind of like put it into practice. It's kind of like a pyramid. I just thought I'd tell you guys what that was. Here we have one of my nicer brick houses, one of my favorite brick houses. You guys can find a tutorial for this on the channel. And again, if you check the brick house tutorial playlist, then you'll be able to nail it down. It should be quite obvious from the thumbnails, but I don't know the actual number of the house. Again, I'm kind of really bad with it, but it is a really nice looking house. More of a mansion, really, than anything else. <clears throat> Here we have the first draft of the Chum Bucket, which I only got done recently. It is ever so slightly different to the newer version, In it's a little bit smaller, and the hand isn't as defined on this one. But um, a tutorial does exist for the Chum Bucket, this is just the first draft of it. Here we have one of my many quartz houses, a tutorial exists for this on the channel, you guys can find this in the quartz house playlist. Unfortunately, no tutorial exists for this quartz house because it's heavily based on quite a few of my other quartz houses and I didn't really think that it differed enough from the other quartz houses, although it is a very nice looking house regardless. No tutorial for this particular house. However, there is a tutorial for this quartz house. This one is also very nice. Got kind of like a, a very weird setup with the balcony on this one. I was particularly happy with this, and I'm not entirely sure why. Looking at it, I have made more impressive quartz houses, but I really like this one. A tutorial, like I may have mentioned, exists on the channel. Feel free to check out the quartz tutorial playlist. Moving on to the next row now, like I said, the first few rows of this world are kind of like 
half built and scattered around, but from this point onwards actually it gets a lot better. The rows are kind of more defined and they're more filled in. So here, and I'll show you them all together actually, here we have a selection of two of Terraria characters, I was going to say tutorial characters, I don't know what I'm talking about. Here we have a selection of Terraria characters. No tutorials exist for any one of these, but I believe that the first one is the guide, the second one is the merchant, the third one's the nurse, definitely, and the fourth one is the painter. I did have aspirations of making all of them, however, I, I, I just didn't get around to it. There's so many of them, and... I would have wanted to make tutorials for all of them had I started that road, but they're very nice looking little pixel arts, um, I never got around to them, no tutorials. Um, here we have a gas statue, you guys can very easily find the tutorial for this on the channel, again check the mobs playlist, very nice statue, I'm a big massive fan of this. Here we have yet another one of my wooden houses. Tutorial for this can be found on the channel, and again, just check the Wooden House playlist and you shouldn't have too much trouble just finding it from the thumbnail. Here we have another wooden house, we're on a wooden house spree here, there's another one over there. Um, no tutorial exists for this one just yet, but I think that sometime in the future, I am going to kind of like adapt this house and make it into something that I like a little bit more. I like the base design of this one, it's just that it lacks a certain something, but no tutorial for this house that we're looking at right now just yet. Here we have one of my two upside down houses, you can actually find a tutorial for this house on the channel without too much trouble, it's in the overall house tutorials playlist if you want to break it down. Uh, very cool looking house, very easy to make, just something a little bit different, I've not seen too many upside down house tutorials. After I made that first initial upside down house, I decided to take one of my pre-existing houses and flip it upside down. This one's a little harder to make and I never made a tutorial for it because the demand really just wasn't there, but I did think that it was a very cool idea and uh, I thought that you guys might appreciate this a little bit. Uh, a couple of you guys in the comments when I did the mini tour kind of got a kick out of my upside down houses and I like them as well. Here we have the Simpsons family guys, so there is a tutorial for every single one of these, but just to run it down, here we have Homer, like I said, we have a tutorial, cool looking statue. Here we have Marge. Here we have Bart. Kind of weird looking to be honest with you. Here we have Lisa. And surprisingly enough, my favourite out of each one of these statues is Maggie. I absolutely love this statue. If I had to pick which one was my favourite out of the entire Simpsons family, it would be Maggie. By the way guys, these weren't just randomly designed by me at my own leisure. These are part of the Simpsons skin pack. Here we have Homer, Marge, Bart, Lisa and Maggie. They're all copied from there. Like I said, you guys can find tutorials for these on the channel without too much problem as they are compiled into the Simpsons playlist. Feel free to check that up if you're interested. Here we have the second set of starter Pokemon. Here we have Chikorita. No tutorial exists for this just yet, but I think I'm going to in the future. Here we have a pixel art of Cyndaquil, same story as Chikorita, no tutorial exists just yet, but I think I'm going to do all three of them in the future. And finally we have my favourite of the bunch, we have Totodile, adorable little guy, look at him. No tutorial exists for him just yet, but possibly in the future. Moving on to the next row here, we have a big, giant, Guitar Hero Guitar. No tutorial exists for this just yet, and nor ever will it. That's probably pronounced wrong, that's probably in the wrong order, grammar who needs it, but a tutorial will never exist for this particular piece of pixel art. I'm a big massive fan of this, I love it, it took me a long time to build, and that's the exact reason why I will never make a tutorial for it, it's just far too large, but I do love this thing. Very cool. Guitar Hero Guitar, used to be into it quite a bit. Um, here we have a couple of mini logos, here we have the YouTube Studio logo, it's just kind of like a little mini play button, no tutorial exists for this, but I have actually, ma I have actually made the tutorial, I can't talk today, um, I've actually made the tutorial, I've just never uploaded it, I should probably do it, maybe with something else. 
Um, here we have the Snapchat logo. A tutorial exists for this, and you can find it on the channel without too much issue. Here we have the Internet Explorer logo. You guys can also find a tutorial for this on the channel. A long time ago, I decided to make like the Chrome logo, and I kind of want to make Firefox and Safari, so I decided to kick it off with Internet Explorer going old school. Um, here we have the Skype logo. Again, just a nice little mini logo. Again, same story with the, uh, the YouTuber. Um, not the YouTube, but oh my god, the YouTube Studios logo. I've actually made this tutorial, I just haven't uploaded it. I should probably upload them together or something. It's a cool looking little logo. Here we have a few houses. Here we have my Stone Brick House. That's literally what they're called or what they're entitled, Stone Brick House. This is Stone Brick House 3. Very nice looking house, largest out of all of them. Pretty cool design, I've not made another house that looks anything like this. You guys can find a tutorial for this on the channel. Here we have Stonebrick House at number 2. Kind of a similar story to Stonebrick House 3, it's, it's kind of unique, on, or at least on my channel. Um, I've not made a house that looks quite like this, very cool. And here we have Stonebrick House number one, which is my favorite out of all of them. Very cool, very intricate little house. I really like this thing. Just to repeat that, that is Stonebrick House one. I don't know whether you guys just didn't see this thing or whether you just went into it, but I really, really like this house. Um, feel free to check this out if you like. I have tutorials for each one of these three houses in the Stonebrick House playlist. Here we have another quartz house, as is colloquially known as the Staircase House. Uh, you guys can find a tutorial for this on the channel in the quartz playlist if you so choose. It does look a little slightly different how I built it in the tutorial. This one's a little bit plainer. In the tutorial, I added some glass and I kind of like added some doorways and stuff and kind of like made it a little bit more open, but um, you could make it either way. Cool looking house in my opinion. I've mo Again, I've not made anything quite like this. I was kind of like in a unique, unique mindset when I was building these houses. And the last thing on this row, I like to call this the snake house. No tutorial exists for this, nor probably ever will it, although I might. I might go a little crazy and make a tutorial for this thing. I call this the snake house because if you've ever been on like, if you've ever had like an old Nokia or maybe you've just played snake, you've downloaded it like the old school version from the app store. You know how snake, he like leaves squiggles behind and it's just kind of, it just kind of looks like snake if you guys know what I'm talking about. I should probably stop here before I confuse myself anymore, but hopefully you guys can see what I mean. It's a cool looking house, but I never made a tutorial for it. Moving on to the next row here, here we have another quartz house. You guys can find a tutorial for this on the channel. It's actually pretty recent, I think it's within the last month, maybe month and a half. Cool looking house, I'm a big fan of this one. It's kind of a, it's kind of like an old school designed house, how people used to make them before they start getting a little bit crazy in Minecraft. Um, moving on, here we have... Again, kind of a more unique looking house. This is a wooden house, which you guys can find a tutorial for on the channel. Again, just check the wooden house playlist and you won't have too much trouble. Kind of cool, kind of a little bit different. I've not made anything that looks quite like it. Other than its counterpart, which is right here. So this is kind of an obvious evolution from that first house there. And I do think it looks quite a bit better than the first one. Just as with the first one, if you guys want to find a tutorial for this, you'll be able to do so in the Wooden House Tutorials playlist. Very cool looking house in my opinion. I've not seen another one on Google or on YouTube or what have you that looks Kind of anything like this, to be honest. I think it was kind of like a unique idea. Although, claiming that in Minecraft is kind of like the kiss of death. I'm sure that somebody, like, built this on day one. I shouldn't say things like that. Um, moving on, we have a big, giant SpongeBob statue. Which you guys can definitely find a tutorial for on the channel. He's nice and big. He's difficult to miss. If you guys check out the SpongeBob Tutorials playlist, you'll be able to find him no issue. And that's the exact same story with the Chum Bucket, which we have right here. This is Chum Bucket Mark II. As you guys can see, this is just a little bit bigger and a little bit cleaner than the first original version of the Chum Bucket. The bucket itself is a little bit bigger, the handle on top is a little bit better, and the hand, for some reason, 
it, it doesn't show it on this, but in the actual tutorial itself, the hand is a little bit more 3D, the fist is a little bit more 3D, and it looks a little bit better, but um, you guys can find a tutorial for this on the channel as recent as two weeks ago, I believe, maybe even three, within the last month, definitely, and if not, just check it out in the SpongeBob Tutorials playlist. Here we have, and I'm well aware that Steve looks a little bit weird, guys. I, I was kind of like testing two materials against each other. This is what I call Explorer Steve. He's got a torch in one hand, diamond sword in the other, and I was testing which I like better, white stained clay or sandstone. Turns out I prefer sandstone, but a lot of you guys seem to prefer white stained clay a little bit more, so it kind of looks like he's wearing a mask of himself, and it's a little bit weird, but you guys can find a tutorial for this guy on the channel if you so choose. Just search for Explorer Steve. Here we have, and I'll show them both together, here we have a detailed version of a creeper, and here we have a plain version of a creeper. Both have tutorials on the channel, just search in the mob tutorials playlists. I personally prefer... <laughs> I'm not, I, I keep messing up my words, I keep, it just happens as you talk more and more, especially when your throat starts getting dry, I, I can barely speak, but, um... I'm not going to cut that out, I'm going to leave that in. Um, I personally prefer the more detailed version of the Creeper, despite the fact that it looks a little bit funky, but like I said, there's tutorials for both, and the Plain Creeper does have a little bit of a charm, doesn't he? Plain Creeper is obviously quite a lot easier to make, though, so if you wanted to make one just nice and quick to add to your collection, the Plain Creeper is what you'd probably go with. Um, moving along here, we have a cauldron statue, very simple to make, nice looking, tutorial on the channel if you want to make it. This is actually the first item statue that we've encountered, which is the first time that I'm now going to mention that I have an item tutorials playlist. Again, feel free to check that out on the channel if you want to make this cauldron. Here we have a Vicstar, a nice Vicstar statue. I, I didn't make YouTubers for a while again after I made like popular MMOs and after I made Syndicate. And Vicstar is the first guy that I decided to make after a little bit of a hiatus. Nice looking statue, you guys can find him on the channel no problem. He's in a couple of different playlists and I'm sure that you can just search Vicstar. But he's in the exclusively YouTubers playlist plus the kind of like Minecraft skin slash statue playlist. Um, here we have a door statue. Big massive fan of this, and I didn't think I I would be. I, can't, I was kind of just looking through the items one day, and I was just figuring out what I could make. Came across a door, made it just for funsies, and I ended up with this. You guys can find a tutorial for this on the channel in the items playlist if you so desire. Very nice looking pixel art. Here we have a small collection, here we have, and I can't remember the names of these guys and I'm not going to check them up, I believe this is a Neverstar, a tutorial doesn't exist for this on the channel, but I should probably do it, it's kind of cool. Um, here we have a name tag, same story, it's kind of cool, it looks pretty good, but no tutorial exists for it. Here we have a bottle of Enchantin, my favourite out of all three of these, and I've never made a tutorial for this, I should probably do like all three and upload all of them in one go. Um, here we have a big giant diamond sword, which we can barely zoom out far enough to see. A tutorial exists for this on the channel. Feel free to check out, actually, like last week's uploads, or feel free to check out the diamond tutorial playlist, which you will be able to find this in. Um, here we have another YouTuber, here we have Little Lizard Gaming, very cool looking skin, that's exactly why I made him, I, very vibrant, very cool looking, uh, he's even got a tail around the back, which I'm a big massive fan of, you guys can find a tutorial for this on the channel in the YouTuber skin playlist. Moving on to the next row here, we only have a few left to do, this is actually going quicker than these usually go. Here we have another wooden house, you guys can find a tutorial for this in the wooden house playlist if you guys want, it's one of the more recent ones. As we get further and further back into the world, this is the much more recent items and the ones that have tutorials have been done pretty recently. Very cool looking house, very large, well, on the larger side of the wooden houses that I've made in the past. Here we have an Ultron statue, very, very cool looking skin. Unfortunately, he doesn't in exist in-game at the moment, and I have made quite a few Avengers 
Avengers skins out of the skin pack. Unfortunately, Ultron isn't in that pack, so I kind of had to go with the flow and kind of make something up. So, this is an Ultron statue. Feel free to check out the Marvel Avengers playlist slash superhero playlist if you guys want to make him. Here we have another YouTuber, we have Exploding TNT. Very cool looking statue, you guys can find him in the YouTuber playlist. Here we have a random miniature house. A tutorial doesn't exist for this, but it is a nice little, kinda cool looking miniature house. I don't think one will ever exist for it, however. Here we have, may as well show these two together, here we have a bow and arrow. A tutorial doesn't exist for these pair just yet, but I think I'm going to do it in the future. Um, just because, well, I kind of like them and the bow and arrow is kind of iconic to Minecraft. Uh, here we have, and let me see if I can get all four of these in, uh, in a row. Here we have a whole set of diamond armor, head, chest, legs, and boots. Tutorials for each one of these individual pieces exist in the diamond tutorial playlist. Or just search the channel for them. Nice, easy, very cool looking. The exact same story with, let me see if I can get all of these in uh, in one shot. Here we have a diamond pickaxe, a diamond axe, diamond shovel, diamond hoe, and of course on the very far right hand side we have the diamond sword. Tutorials exist for each one of these, and again, you can find these in the diamond tutorial playlist. Very popular playlist, guys. You, you guys really seem to like all of the diamond equipment. Makes me want to make a whole set of gold equipment. Here we have, moving on up, we have a couple of miniature houses. So, this is the very first miniature house that I ever built. Very cool looking little miniature house, very, very impractical for a survival house, but um, that's kind of the point of these. If you guys really like this house as much as I do, feel free to check out the miniature house playlist, which, again, you'll be able to find on the channel, or miniature house number one. That's what this is, you guys can find a tutorial for it. Um, here we have miniature house number two, same story as number one, if you guys want to make this, if this particularly tickles you, um, feel free to check out the miniature house playlist, or just type in miniature house two, very cool, I love these miniature houses. Moving on to the final item in this row, this is the Windows logo, I... I don't know, sometimes I just make logos, that's kind of how it goes, I, I just make logos and that's it. So this is the Windows logo, no tutorial ex exists for this just yet because I don't like that gold on the bottom right hand side, but I'm sure that sometime in the future I might actually do this because obviously I've done the Apple logo, I've done Android, I've done all kinds of other operating systems and what have you, I should probably add the Windows logo to it as well. Um, moving on to the next row here, and we only have two rows left to go, guys. So, this is Force Hammer, Monya. You guys can find a tutorial for this on the channel if you so desire. Marvel Avengers playlist is in there as well. Very, very cool. I've not seen anybody else with a tutorial of this, or with a hammer of this scale, or with a statue of this scale, I should say. This is kind of like the first one that I've ever seen, and I did quite a bit of Googling. Pretty cool. Moving on down here, we have a statue of Alex. This is kind of like the female version of Steve. You guys can find a tutorial of her on the channel. Very cool looking statue. I actually like her design a lot more than Steve. Here we have Hawkeye. I kind of meant to do this guy a long time ago, only recently realized that I had yet to do him. He's actually ripped straight out of the Marvel Avengers skin pack, as you guys can see. You guys can find a tutorial for him on the channel. Again, he's in various playlists. Here we have the Wither Boss, a very, very cool looking statue. You guys can find a tutorial for him on the channel. He is in the mob playlist. I think he's actually the face of the playlist because I do like him so much. Here we have a Goku statue. Very, very nice looking statue. He's actually in my top 5% of favorite statues, maybe even 1%. I've made a lot of them. One of my favorite statues of all time. As of this video, 
He does actually exist on the channel. I was just about to say that a tutorial doesn't exist for him just yet, but by the time you guys see this video, Goku will exist in tutorial form. He will be on the channel. So if you guys like this, he'll probably be in the overall statue playlist. But just search for Goku tutorial and I'm sure you'll be able to find him. Here we have a Monkey D. Luffy statue. You might actually be able to see a tutorial of him by the time I post this video, but you may also not. But he's going to be pretty close to Goku. Tutorial doesn't exist for him just yet, but you, you'll probably be seeing him soon if you watch this video during the actual, you know, when I actually upload it. Here we have another YouTuber statue. We have Super Girly Gamer Jen. Um, since I made popular MMOs, I decided that I should probably make her as well. A tutorial exists for her on the channel. Again, various playlists, YouTuber channels, skin statues. Uh, <laughs> I have a feeling that I said um, YouTuber channel. YouTuber playlist and the skin statue playlist. You'll be able to find a very cool looking. I'm pretty sure her skin is based off of Ares out of Final Fantasy VII, which is also kind of cool because I love that game. Um, here we have a Daredevil statue. Daredevil came out on Netflix not so long after I actually made this statue, so I decided why not make him and upload him. Um, you guys can find a tutorial for him on the channel if you so desire. Very angry looking Daredevil. Kind of, uh, kind of a favourite of mine. I've always liked Daredevil. I, uh, I actually liked him before he was mainstream, guys, before he was mainstream. I've been, uh, I've been into him for a little while. Um... Here we have one of my various brick houses. You guys can find a tutorial for this on the channel in the brick house playlist. Very cool looking brick house, very different from what I would usually make out of brick houses. It's definitely a bit of a different design. Um, similar sort of story with this house right here as well. This is another brick house which, by the time you guys watch this, a tutorial will exist for very very cool looking house. Um, it actually looks even better with a garden and functional balconies. Cool looking brick house. You can find it in the same place that you can find the previous brick houses. Here we have a pair of statues, two twins if you will. We have a Quicksilver statue from the Age of Ultron film. Very cool looking statue. You guys can find a tutorial of him on the channel. And here we have a Scarlet Witch statue, which I actually, Scarlet Witch, which I like a little bit better than the Quicksilver statue. But again, you guys can find a tutorial of her on the channel. Both of them are in the Marvel playlist. Here we have a miniature house, which you guys can find a tutorial for on the channel. A tutorial does exist, miniature house playlist. You guys will be fine. Uh, you'll be able to find it no problem. Here we have another miniature house which I never made a tutorial for because I'm not exactly a massive fan of this. I have been thinking of ways how I could tweak this but um, tutorial doesn't exist for this just yet. I'm sure I'll eventually figure it out though. I usually come back to things. Um, here we have another miniature house and a tutorial does exist for this particular one. Again, just feel free to check out the miniature house playlist. Moving on to the final row here, here we have a miniature version of the fairy tale logo. I decided to color it in with, is this magenta clay? Let's take a look. Yeah, that's magenta stained clay. Um, looks pretty cool, nice miniature version. I've been watching fairy tale recently, so why not? Why not make a logo of it? I plan on making some more anime logos, actually. Um, no tutorial exists on the channel just yet. Um, same story with the Flash logo, I've been watching a little bit of the Flash so I decided hey why not make a logo. A tutorial doesn't exist for this just yet because it's not entirely done yet. By the way that dark blue wall in the center of it, that's just kind of like the center point. It obviously wouldn't be on the proper logo itself. I just uh, I just kind of like use it to um, mark out how I'm going to build that circle which needs to be changed. That's the only bit that needs doing with that logo. Um, here we have my latest miniature house, air quotes over miniature house, this is actually kind of like a, a bigger quartz house that I've made. Um, you guys can find a tutorial for this on the channel, I believe that it's miniature house number 4 or number 5, I, I kind of high, <laughs> I find it hard to keep track of it, okay guys, I, I have no clue which number is which. 
Um, here we have kind of like the first ever apartment building that I've ever tried to make, and I actually think it came out pretty well. This obviously shares a striking resemblance with that previous brick house that we have over there, and um, that's where I got the idea from it. I kind of like extended out that original brick house, I added like an extra wing on it, like on the other side, and then I just made it like double wide, added the roof, and on the back here... Here, we have a whole other set of balconies and it looks pretty good in my opinion. It's actually also very easy to make as well. No tutorial exists for this just yet, but trust me, it's going to in the future. Here we have another quartz house. No tutorial exists for this just yet because it's not 100% done. Something's going to have to be tweaked and I think I know how to do it as well. Here we have an Ant-Man statue. This is ripped straight out of the Marvel Avengers skin pack. Let me see if I can find it for you guys very quickly. I like to show you guys. I like, uh, I like to show and tell. There you go. Here he is. Um, with Ant-Man kind of round the corner, I think he's just a few months away now. I decided that I should probably make an Ant-Man statue. Um, kind of cool looking statue. He's not my favorite, but he, he is at the least a little bit different. But uh, no tutorial exists for him just yet. This is the black suit version of Spider-Man, and I'm not going to show you, but this is ripped straight out of the Spider-Man skin pack. I have made a tutorial for this, but it isn't uploaded on the channel yet. I don't know whether it will be by the time this video gets released, but it won't be far away either side. Like, it may have just recently been uploaded, or it's not very far from being uploaded, but this is the black suit version of Spider-Man. Here we have a Markiplier statue, and this is kind of like a similar story to the Spider-Man statue. A tutorial has been made for this statue, however, I don't know whether it will be out by the time you guys see this video, whether it will be a little bit before or a little bit after, but it won't be very far away. Here we have a nice little collection of houses. We have my latest wooden house here. It's kind of, it's one of the larger wooden houses that I've built. Again, I decided that I wanted to build a little bit of a bigger house. Kind of a unique design for me. It's not a unique design like in its in its entirety. It's something that I've just never built before. It's kind of like a house on stilts, two little mini balconies. It's, uh, there's quite a bit going on with this house. Um, no tutorial exists for it just yet, but it will in the future because I'm I, I really do like this one. Here we have a nice little kind of like starter survival house, which a tutorial doesn't exist for just yet, but I think I'm going to bite the bullet and do it and see if you guys like it once the video has been made. Uh, it's very easy survival house to make, consists of every single material that you'd probably be able to find nice and easily. It's just like basically oak and stone, a little bit of glass. Um, cool looking house, looks a little better with a garden I would imagine. No tutorial exists for this just yet. Here we have another quartz house. This is heavily, heavily influenced by my staircase house. Um, it is actually finished, but I think it would look a little bit better with a garden. A tutorial doesn't exist for this just yet, but I think it will in the future once I've seen how it looks with a garden. Uh, here we have a little mini brick house. This is also heavily influenced by another one of my quartz houses. I think it's quartz house number eight. A tutorial doesn't exist for this just yet, but I liked the layout so much of that particular quartz house that I applied it not only to this brick house, but I also applied it to this wooden house as well. These two are identical to each other, but they do look very different. I mean, obviously they use different materials, but um, it, they do look they both do look really cool, and they both do look a little bit different as well. No tutorials exist for these, but they will in the future because I do like them so much. Um, here we have another larger wooden house. I think my cat is going absolutely crazy. She's scratching some form of plastic. I'm not sure if the microphone actually picked that up, but I can hear her going absolutely mental. Something is definitely upsetting her. Could you guys hear the like, me, 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 me? I hope that the microphone picked that up, she is insane. Anyway, this is one of the larger wooden houses that I've made again. It's actually a little bit bigger than that one over there, I think. Um, I'm kind of trying to make a better blend of like larger and smaller houses. Usually I stick to small, but I'm trying to make it a little bit bigger. This is actually just about a direct copy of one of the original wooden houses that I uploaded onto the channel. I think it's actually entitled Spruce House 1. And I improved it a little bit, in my opinion, and I made it look a little bit better. No tutorial exists for this just yet, but I'm pretty sure it will at some point in the future it's got to. It, it does look nice, in my opinion. 
Here we have a Blankton statue. I made this as a little bit of a goof, really. I didn't really actually plan on making a tutorial for him. I just kind of like made him to stick in front of my chum bucket. But it turned out that I liked him so much that I made a tutorial for him. You guys can find a tutorial of him on the channel in the SpongeBob playlist if you guys want to make him a very cool looking statue. And here we just have another copy of Spongebob. I originally made my first Spongebob statue in this back left hand corner of the world because I didn't want you guys to see it as I was developing him and uh, it actually kind of worked out well because I, I then got to put Plankton next to him so uh, you guys have already seen that before obviously I'm just going to repeat this uh, you guys can find tutorials for these guys on the channel Spongebob tutorials playlist and that is absolutely everything guys that is the whole world done. I don't think that I ran too long with that. Usually these do take a while. I've done a few world tours before and they usually take anywhere between 45 minutes and an hour. Depends on how much I'm talking. But like I said, I tried to cut that down for your guys' benefit. If you guys want to see any more of these creations in depth, feel free to check out the card system and the links below in the description for my World Tours playlist. So I think that that's just about it for this video, guys. I don't think there's anything else I want to say. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, if you like this tour, please give a like, share, favorite, show me some love. I always love love. I always appreciate it. Once again, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next world tour which probably won't be too far away by the way guys it might be as early as a week from this video i've already began work on my brand new world